a beautiful late summer night here at the garage. Love this time of year. Football is in the air. <laughs> All right, hey everybody, I'm Mark. You're watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. This is Friday night, September 15th, 2023. And this being September 15th, best thing that ever happened to me was born on September 15th, 2006. I want to say a happy 17th birthday to my granddaughter and best friend, Jay Lee. <laughs> I can't believe it's been 17 years. She's now a senior at uh, her high school. She's a member of the National Honor Society, straight A's, and uh, all I gotta say is this, she must have got the brains from her mother's side of the family. <laughs> because when, if I'd ever bring an A home on my report card, my mother would be looking at it with a magnifying glass to make sure that I didn't, you know, erase the whatever other grade it might have been to make sure I hadn't changed it. But a little advice out there to you high school students. It's a lot easier to change an F to a B than it is to an A. And believe me, it's a lot more believable. <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. Anyway, uh, this video here, you know what it's about from the title. We're talking the Ruger LCRX Chambered and 38 Special, and it is also rated for plus P 38 Special Ammo. I don't know why I bought this. I really didn't need it, but you know, I've got these other LCRXs and the LCR here. I really enjoy them, and I figure, hey, why not? You know, now we've got a five round capacity. As you can see, it's empty. All these firearms are safe, and uh, well, except for this right here, my garage gun tonight. Since this is a Ruger night, once again, my Ruger SR45. Chamber in the course, 45 ACP, and I am in the midst of doing a five year update video on this little sweetheart right here. Hopefully, I'll have it out in a few weeks. Anyhow, we got that out of the way. Right here, my Ruger LCR Chamber from 22 long rifle. Love this little guy, always a ton of fun with it. My Ruger LCRX Chamber 22 LR, same as the LCR. A ton of fun. And half of my Coyote Combo, the LCRX Chamber 22 Magnum. This thing has been really sweet. And this right here weighs about the same as my Ruger SR22, the uh, semi-auto pistol with the uh, three and a half inch barrel. This thing is light, but you know what? It can handle the plus P's with no problem. Uh, you have the uh, large front bladed sight, rear adjustable sight, the barrel, cylinder, trigger and hammer, and all the important parts are stainless steel, uh, polymer frame, uh, hog tamer grips on it, very nice grips. Uh, the trigger pull on this is really sweet, and even though it's pretty much brand new, I bought it brand new, trigger's not bad for brand new. All right, single action right there. Double action, you know, since uh, these Ruger LCR line here, they got the rotating cam and the cylinder, you don't hear the clicks like you would a Smith or a Taurus or a Ruger. But uh, the trigger pull and double action is a lot smoother than its rimfire buddies right here. Right there, just smooth. No creak, no resistance. Just rotates nice. Man, I love that. Now, as you notice, the color feel on here, it's white out. Didn't do too good a job on this, so I'm going to take some non acetone and uh, remove that and do it all over again. You know, on these others here, turned out much better, the color feel jobs. That's what I get for watching heavy metal videos. <laughs> I like that guy's channel. Anyway, uh, here a few weeks ago, my buddy Joe, I've had this thing for over a month now, but here a few weeks ago, my buddy Joe, I let him take the very first shots with this. And like many of us, when you're used to shooting a revolver with six rounds, and then you pick up one with a five-round capacity, after that fifth shot, Joe was like this. 
pull the trigger back, nothing happens. He kind of looks at it, trying to figure what's wrong. And I'm doing the same thing right there with him. And then they, we realize, hey, it's five shot, not a six shot. We've all been there. Let's go ahead and watch Joe take the first shots with this. And then after that, there's a segment of me taking my first shots. Let's give it a watch. First shots, Ruger LCRX 38 Special. Got two regular rounds, uh, 130 grain Remington and uh, three rounds of uh, 148 uh, grain wad cutter. Oh, where that went? Low and left, the right. There we go. Uh -oh. We have a dud. Okay. No dead. All right, 158 grain. Black Hills. Yeah, got four out of five on that one. All right, getting closer to the center. Yeah. Uh, here we are at my little shooting area. Beautiful evening. Ruger LCRX, chambered and 38 special, three inch barrel. Any other fill in job, the white, I didn't do such a hot job on it. I'll get some non acetone, remove that, and do it again. Give it a good clean up. <laughs> anyway, the first two rounds. 148 grain uh, Black Hills wad cutters and the next three rounds will be 158 grain uh, Federal ammo. All right, these are my first shots. Hopefully I can remember this is only a five shot revolver. <laughs> Hello Joe. center mass, see where I hit. Single action. A little high. A little low. Tad to the left. Those were 158 grams. Try double action. Yeah. <laughs> Ejection's good. You see, we're empty. Now, we'll go right ahead. Five rounds of these. Federal. 158 green rounds, about five of them, and as you saw, I did remember this is only a five round capacity, once again, hello Joe, <laughs> yeah, it's for my first shots with this, not bad, a little all over that silhouette, but, uh, I'm happy.
do some singles first two rounds. In center mass. Low and to the left. Well, my friends, what do you say we head up to the garage, wrap this up? All right. Let's go ahead and wrap this up right here. Uh, yeah, sweet. You, you would think with a polymer frame, you know, some hotter loads, it'd be... Uh, a lot of muzzle rise, muzzle flip, uh, recoil, what have you. No, uh, this whole chamber grip handled it well. And uh, the muzzle rise on this with the little bit hotter rims, 158 uh, grain, wasn't no big deal. I mean, I really like this. Uh, there's a lot of different uses I can use, uh, use this for. Uh, just carry it here on the property, maybe put it in a uh, cup holster and a cup holder here on the garage cart, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I got this. Now, these are, you know, kind of pricey. They, they're well above, they're above, let's see, 500. Uh, you're probably looking anywhere from maybe five and a quarter to, uh, you know, and up for a new one. So if you run across a good used one at a good price, I'd say go ahead and take a chance, you know, see what it's about. Whoever has it, you know, if it's a private sale, ask them to let you shoot it first. But yeah, I like this. I'm glad I got it. You know, now as far as any other Ruger revolvers, I got my SP-101-357 mag down at the house. I need to get that out and put a few rounds through it, but, uh, you know, these right here, I've been occupying a lot of my time lately, and believe me, I've been enjoying every minute of it. So, uh, yeah, Ruger LCRX Chamber 38 Special. You know, these things are made to last, and I know some people that's had them for a few years now and never had any problems with them. All you gotta do is keep them cleaned and lubed, and, and they'll work for you, all right? Anyway, as far as Ruger firearms go, I want to thank the late, great Mr. Holster for his influence once again. All right. Y'all have a good night. And Jay Lee, love you, sweetheart. Happy birthday. <laughs> Catch y'all later.